Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. John Megacycle here hosting another episode of a little series I'm working on with Spectral and my other friends called Versus. Say hey, Spectral. Hey, Spectral. Hey, Spectral. <laughs> nice. Uh, so these are really <laughs> simple matches. It's just me versus someone else. Get a good recording in, have some fun, learn some tips and tricks from my fellow players, and try to become a better commander myself. Um, so since we got some great feedback from our first Supreme Commander Forged Allegiance one or Forged Alliance one on one, uh, the Spectral and Matt, uh, Spectral and myself match. Terrible grammar, but we'll run with it. Uh, he speaks well. Yeah, I'm tired. My bad. Uh, it turned out really great. <laughs> we got a lot of great feedback. People wanted to see more. Wanted to see some different tactics. See us go at it again. Uh, still hoping to see if I can get FA Forever installed on my machine so I can play with other fans, but got Spectral here. We're going to do another one-on-one. -on -one. Yay! Death and destruction. Absolutely. So we picked this map. This is Winter Duel. It's a very short, tall height map, and then more wide. Uh, one versus one map. Pretty solid, pretty uh, cramped, which is going to really force us to confront pretty early. Uh, just to show you what we've got for options, uh, we usually play with resource rich, which is double production. Uh, this allows us to get over that tech one hump a little faster uh, and get to the good stuff. Uh, then of course this is what we've got for settings, no cheating, no civilians. Uh, victory condition equals supremacy, which means you have to blow up all structures, commanders and engineers. That's what gives you, that's what gives you the win. So. Uh, aside from that, not much else to say. I'm going to be playing as the Cybran faction this go-round. Uh, I've been asked a couple of times to be not so uh, xenophobic. So UEF? I've, yeah, I've been a bit more UEF-ish than usual. So I'm going to go Cybran this go, <laughs> and uh, yeah, here we are. All right. I have to deal with you and your freaking monkey lords. Oh my god, the monkey lord. You love that thing way too much. I just think of Gur every time I Monkey Lord. I just think of Gur from Invader Zim all the time. Monkey Lord. Now I can't stop saying it. Is that it. all you think about? Monkey Lord, now I can't stop saying it. <laughs> <laughs> monkey monkey It's kinda like let's sing the Doom song. Doom 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 Doom. Exactly doom. like that. Exactly. <laughs> uh I gotta stare at all the units again and try to figure out what this race even is, because I'm so used to the UEF, I know exactly how they look. Right? God, I hope I'm building the right thing. I'm sure you're fine. Uh, you can com you complain too much. No, just uh, trying to get used to a new. Yes, okay, I'm building the right thing. I'm building the thing I'm expecting to build. Nothing's born mer. No pff, language. Nothing's be. Oh. <laughs> No, let me try for the third time. Nothing's more embarrassing. Speaks well. <laughs> I'm a little tired. Nothing's more embarrassing than building the wrong thing for the wrong race because it looks like something a different race has. That's embarrassing. Right. God, it only took what four tries for me to say that correctly. Derp. Yeah, exactly. We're getting there. I'm sure you are already. <laughs> Did one of my units just run into a power plant and just stay there? Like, just trying to <laughs> grasp reality yeah. through a power plant. It was kind of cute to watch for a second. Hey, buddy, can I poke you? Huh? Huh? Exactly. Hey, what are you doing? 
what's going on over here? You guys having fun? This looks like fun. I'm gonna stick my head in a power plant now. Derp the derp. Eerie silence. Oh, it won't be silent for long, my friend. Um, no. <laughs> it wasn't really a question. <laughs> hey, you didn't specify. You're right, I didn't. I see your airplanes. Probably just what a scout, you think? No, probably a bomber. And I was right. Yeah, you were. What cookie? Wouldn't it be bad. More aggressive this time. I do any it. damage. Uh, one unit. I figured. I risked it with what I was doing. No, worked out. You got a good sight of what I was doing in my base, so if the knowledge was worth it, then I'd say that's a win. Oh, looks like I lost you, buddy. Let's see if Spectral will come back in a second or two here. Yeah, so one of the things that's been painful with this is I like to do a lot more talking and just talking to you guys and let you know what I'm doing, but I can't really do a whole lot of that considering I'm versus Spectral. Uh... And I'm back. Wonderful. I don't know what that was. It gave me an unstable connection only for Ventrilo. That is weird. Uh, you did lose connection here for about 20 seconds. Not sure what that was about. Yeah, not too worried. It happens. The internet is not always a stable place. That is true. God, I just built that power plant in the dumbest spot, but made the most sense to me. All my units are just running into that thing. Oh yeah, stupid unit, you're gonna fly right over his base? Yeah, worked out for me. That was just absolutely retarded. Nah. Again, you're still seeing what I'm doing, so it's certainly it wasn't a waste of time. It wasn't a very good use of it either, though.
the awkward silence again. Eh, it happens. Yes, it does. Feeling better, uh, pretty confident? Feeling a little better. I'm sure you've got something in the works that I'm not going to like. Uh, I'm sure nothing super crazy. I mean, you kind of tactfully got me in a corner here, so... I don't... All I did was attack the resources. Yeah. Uh, but of course, that kind of gets me a little gun-shy, so it's not like I'm bouncing out ready to assault. Right. Gunships, huh? Uh, not gunships, more bombers just to test what you had going on. Yeah, always good to keep you, your opponent in check. Do not like that it is so quiet. <laughs> Could be worse. I don't know about that. Sure it could. I could be talking over you to attempt to distract you. I guess. There you go. <laughs> if you want to look at it in the positive way. I don't really see how else to look at it. You got your own artillery, huh? Oh, just one. Certainly nothing to write home about. Nice shot. How is it I cannot see your shit shooting at me? I have a fully functioning radar. I 
don't know. And I have power. That doesn't make any sense, but... I'm using nothing high-tech, just some units. I believe that. It's not making any sense to me. You did mess up a bunch of my economy. You scored a, a solid direct hit right at some of my uh, extractors. It's a good shot there. I'm sure. Yeah. It's only as good as you can get stuff going, though. I don't understand why things are doing what they're doing because I have power. And I can't see your units. Uh, do you have any planes? Not at the moment, even though I really shouldn't have revealed that, but... Even with this Tech 2 artillery, I can't hit your core base, so... I mean, there's only so much I can really do with those units. I guess. Oh crap, I don't have a radar. You also hit my radar. <laughs> and you may have sunk my uh, battleship. That was not... <laughs> what? I see what's going on. Okay, okay. Willikers, I'd really like to be able to see his base. Right. Can't see nothing for nothing in this whole thing of nothing. You maths well. <laughs> nothing plus nothing. Equals nothing? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Now you're getting some bigger shit going on. Oh, uh, no, just more of the same. Just more artillery. Oh, you got that guy. Yeah, but you got another one on the way. Ah. 
Uh, very new tactic for you, sir. Uh, artillery? Uh, not the missiles. The missiles are kind of what I used against you when we fought the first time. It was just uh, Tech 3, and that was the only way I could soften up your shields. I don't have any idea if these things are effective against commanders. The answer looks like a hard no. Oh, you have to be standing still, that's the deal. I was trying to make it so I wasn't standing still. Ah, oh, I couldn't get him away. I have a feeling you're going to win this one too, sir. You really had me running for everything early on in the game enough that I wasn't confident enough to expand. So that gave you a really good opportunity to hole up on that hill. Like, I honestly thought that this was going to be a lot more one-sided. I thought you would have had me a lot earlier. Yeah, I should have, and I... It's me learning. Absolutely, that's the point of the series. <clears throat> you yep. rewatch it, and you see where places you could have improved. I rewatch it and figure out places I could have improved. Absolutely. Come on, I just want the factory. You're not hitting the factory, you're hitting a shield. Am I? <clears throat> Am I? Yep. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to last. Plus, I have other factories. I, for once, didn't just build one. Yeah, it's hard to tell based on the map. I could guess that you built two, maybe a third. Oops. There, I took out a couple of them. I'm happy with that. Good man. But you did take out my commander. commander, so I'm probably in some deep doo doo. You will be, yes. What are those? Is that freaking artillery? Nope, they're called mobile missile launchers. No, the random colorful sparks I keep seeing. That's artillery. Thought so. Or you're having a stroke. That's pretty much what's been killing it for me. Uh, the second I saw that you had one, I knew I had to up the game, so I built uh, just a sec. I built a bunch. I'll tell you the total number in a second here. I built seven. When you nice. the second you mentioned, hey, it's starting to get heavy. I had three online, so it still wasn't incredibly daunting, but it was still enough to start causing problems. I gotcha. And those artilleries definitely are not fun. No.
certainly was the name of the game for this round, but... Yeah, on such a small map, that's really... That's really what paid it off. Yeah? Yeah. I am very happy that they're not... That artillery is not horribly accurate, but is still devastating. Especially when all you're trying to take out is some shields. Yeah, it's definitely... It definitely worked out. Well, it took down one shield. But it's covered under another one, luckily. Yeah, that's true. The hell? Why am I so low on power? Something's not right here. Is the artillery breaking through your shields at all, or is this just an annoyance? Um, it's breaking through shields. Trying to figure out why I suddenly want negative power when I haven't started anything. Oh, that'd be why, you little bastard. <laughs> Did I hit something? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, hydro hydrogen power generator? Oh yeah, that's worth 200. Uh, but I want negative a lot more than that, so this doesn't make sense. Oh. And you broke through all of my shields. Hooray! Those things are definitely One Run Charlies. I guess I just came up with a new name. One Run Charlie. <laughs> That's pretty much bombers in general. Check three bots. And you win. Hooray! finally did me in was that hydrogen power plant, I think, because you just got me just enough low in power. Yep. Well, good match, sir. Yeah... I liked what you changed up for this match. That quick that quick hit just as a, a gut check and then keep checking once in a while. That really was good and most players will just stay where they are because they're a little twitchy because they don't know how far you've expanded. But because this is such a small map, um, I can I can keep just so good of an eye on you just using radar. But still that was that was pretty good to see the quick jump in tactic. Yeah, I'm trying. I killed your initial attack force. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I can't do anything against those guys. Am I hitting the- oh, I'm hitting the freaking hill! 
I was like, this is taking significantly longer than it should. Of course, I'm hitting the freaking hill. <laughs> And I lose. Good match, hey, it's though. a monkey lord. Yay! <laughs> uh, those close quarter maps really add a lot of challenge, not even just against your opponent, but without a lot of room to get a ton of extra resources. Definitely. Putting me in a tight spot like that made me react as well, and to see you attack quickly was a good sight. We'll see. It's a, it's a work in progress. Uh, everything is. Absolutely. So, Spectral, thanks a lot for joining me on this episode. No problem. Cool, cool. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.